Hi, welcome to Power to Weight Training. This is week number 17, workout number two. The first workout was a pyramid cardio workout. Today is going to be more of a chatty chatty session rather than a workout. We are going to work on mental toughness today, as well as physical toughness, but mental toughness more or less. I always hear about, hey, you should leave one or two or three reps in a bank, you know, so you can do more sets. You should never go all out. There are studies proving this. There are studies saying that you should go all out. What should you really do? Well, as a beginner, I think, we should leave something in the bag. Um, should work on form, first and foremost, and then your repetitions, and then your time under tension. But as we get more and more advanced, that needs to change. So at some point, you're gonna to have to find out what your max is. And your max isn't always your physical max, but sometimes it is your mental one. Today's workout is going to be working on both, but it's also, it, since it's only one repetition, we're going to be go, holding a steady plank hold. It is more of a mental challenge. Um, how long can you hold it after you are in pain, after the pain sets in? That's very important, um, especially when you're working out for weight loss or for building muscle when you are doing higher repetitions. Let's say you drop down on the ground and you I want to do 40 push-ups if you're capable of doing 40 push-ups and just pulling a number out of my butt. Um, after 20, that's going to start hurting. But if each push-up takes you between a second and a second and a half, you have another 30 to 40 seconds left of doing push-ups. Can you last 30 or 40 seconds mentally in doing those push-ups? That's what we're going to test today. We're going to go as long as we can on this plank and find out what our limits are. This is something that's really important for you to learn if you're gonna be doing endurance sports, you're gonna be running, or if you're going to be weightlifting. When is the right time to give up and when isn't the right time to give up? The right time to give up and sometimes it's right before you get injured. So before your form breaks down, you should stop. You should never push beyond that. Um, in this basement, this workout room, when I used to do triathlons, this is where I trained. If you look behind me right, right here, you'll see a treadmill. Next to that treadmill used to be a bicycle. I train on my bike in the basement almost exclusively the last few years because it's not, not very safe to go outside on the roads. Next to that bike, during my bike tests, something that's very similar that we're going to be doing a test of a plank today, I used to have a puke bucket that I've actually used twice um, because I pushed myself really hard and I learned how to push myself really hard. Part of the reason why I actually stopped racing three years ago because mentally I wasn't in the game anymore. I was not willing to push myself as hard as I was 10 and 15 years ago. So I decided to start more weight training and get a little bit stronger and not, so, not worry so, so much about endurance sports. But anyway, without any further ado, join me on this one plank that we're going to do, this one static hold. Hold it as long as you can. Like I said, maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. It is all up to you. You last as long as you can. I'm going to do this for as long as I can. I plan to be in pain and I don't plan to give up until I physically cannot hold this plank any longer. So this might get a little embarrassing and a little bit funny. I'll see you guys on the floor in about 15 seconds after the intro. one rep workout. Let me set my clock here and like I said, I am going for a one plank and I'm going to try to hold it as long as I can so to find out my planking max. And this way when I do my next workout, I'll be able to say I can do 80% of my max times three sets. Um, and that's what we're going for today. So. It's okay to max out once in a while, as long as you do it with good form and not get injured because we, as we always say, repeat, repeatability is the most important thing. So let's get going here. I'm going to start right now. Let me just check the camera. It looks like I am in view. Starting the plank now. And I flip my phone over because I do not want to be distracted by it. I am wearing shoes today to give me a little better grip on the ground. Remember, the plank involves not just the core, in the beginning, you might be a little wobbly um, because in the beginning it's easy. What's going to happen eventually as you tighten up, as your core gets tired, you're going to want to recruit more muscles to do this. So you will tighten up your glutes, you will tighten up your quads actually to hold you up. You will tighten up your calves and you're going to start pushing into the ground and, or against, against your feet here because it will be easier 
easier to hold this plank while having resistance. Um, I'm going to talk for now, but eventually I'm going to shut up because I am going to be in pain and it's slowly starting to set in. Like I said, mental toughness is super, super important and it will also teach you as you're doing these statics holds how to engage those certain muscles that you might have not engaged before. And as we are doing strength work or even endurance work, that mind and muscle connection becomes so important. And it's even more important when we are in pain. So I'm starting to hurt a little bit right now, but I'm going to keep on talking for as long as I can and keep the best form that I can. I keep on checking in the mirror here, making sure I'm not doing this or doing that. Um, so I'm just doing the best that I can. And I'm going to do it for as long as I can. I'm going to start shaking like jello. There's going to be veins popping out of my head. Um, that's just how I am. And that's just how it works. But we are going to be pushing ourselves to the max. And you can do this with every exercise as you get more experienced. Um, just be very careful. Only push it to the max while you are still holding good form. Because the last thing you want to do is get injured. It's very difficult to get injured during this right now because all you can do is fall to the ground by a few inches. But like I said in the intro, if you're doing a big compound move, you're doing a deadlift or a squat, it is very easy to get injured. So I always suggest start with very low weights, work on your form, and then start adding weight. For me, my squats are awful. From 20 years of running, my knees are pretty shot and people make fun of me on some of these comments. And that's okay because I make fun of them some of these comments and um, I just do the best that I can. So anyway, I want to start stop talking soon. I have no idea what the clock is. All I know, my shoulders are starting to hurt a little bit. My knees are hurting a little bit, so I need to tighten up a little and bring everything to focus over here because this is going to be as long as I can go. So guys, I'll see you when I'm flopping down on the ground and I'll see you in the outro, all right? Sounds good. Let's just hold this sucker for as long as we can. It's unpleasant, but still doable.
anyway, my phone is not stopping for some reason. But this says roughly is six minutes and I stopped at five minutes and 45 seconds. But I think something is not working. Um, so that was my time. I have no idea how you guys did, but that's as long as I could last and my phone is out. So I'm just gonna put this away. Hope this was a lesson for you, how you can become mentally tougher. My biggest pain today was in my shoulders from leaning on here and then my quad started hurting. My core was okay, I tried engaging because that was the least painful part. So I tried really squeezing my core, core, core to take some of the pain away from the rest of my body. But it ended up being five minutes and about 45 seconds. I'll have a timer up on the screen maybe if you guys want to see what it actually was. I'm not lying, that's what it is, what it is. I hope you guys, had, you guys had a good video watching this. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you learned something. Hope you learn how to push yourself mentally and physically um, because the physical part is actually not going to make too much of a difference until you get your mental part straightened out. And that's where the, the big gains will really come in. That's why you're able to focus on the muscles that you're trying to use, on the run you're trying to complete, on the bike ride you're trying to do, on the stairs you're trying to climb or anything else. Once this is straightened out, you're going to be halfway there. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week for another cardio workout coming up on Monday.